In this video, I want to show you the ultimate key detection software for producers and DJs. Let's get right into it. It's called Mixed In Key, and they just dropped Mixed In Key 11, which has a whole bunch of new bells and whistles. This is an awesome standalone app on your desktop, Mac, or Windows. And there's two main ways that I utilize Mixed In Key. The first way is if I'm recording somebody and I want to know the key and the tempo of the song real quicker than seconds, I simply just click and drag it straight into Mixed In Key 11. And this is in real time, you can see right off the bat within seconds seconds c sharp minor 85 tempo and for you djs out there you get an energy level and you get your cue points automatically so let's say if that's an instrumental that i just dragged in there because i'm recording an artist and i need to know the key and the tempo real quick for my session in fl studio i'll know that within seconds go straight into fl studio set my key and my tempo especially if we're doing any additive production or any auto tune vocal tuning anything like that you're going to need to know the key especially now, as you can see in mix and key it's super organized in here everything's color coded you can change the camelot wheel right here i like this option if you go to settings like me i like to see the sharps so you can go to key notation i like this option right here i put it on sharps just the way i like to view keys and scales again for you djs this integrates with serato tractor record box i know a lot of my dj friends utilize mixed in key in every one of their sets at every one of their shows and gigs you could also connect your midi device here really customizable you can add cover art to any one of your songs and if they already have it it'll detect it as well you can go to the tag editor and really fine tune your tags and replace your tag you can clean up any empty spaces the my collection tab is where we were already at over here you can also create your own playlist you can add a new folder add a new playlist keep things really organized and again i said that i like it for two different reasons that's the first reason i like it and as you know i'm a producer so i'm utilizing this a little bit differently than a dj would but there are a lot of ways that you can use it as a dj and a producer so the second way that i love to use this and maybe a little bit unconventional and shout out to eldre for showing me this a few years back he really put me on to this way of doing it inside the mixed and key standalone app is taking every single one of my samples i have a massive sample library and it ranges for i don't know like maybe like 200 gigs of samples like something crazy and a lot of them are labeled with the key but sometimes they're wrong so what i like to do and this is why i like to take my samples and drag them in so i'll go to a sample library like this decap library right here i'll drag all of these samples in and in real time again you can see no edit here it automatically detects all of those within seconds it's wild so what i do when i get to this option is i hit the key tab and it automatically organizes everything in the same key so everything that's f minor for example is yellow c minor is in a peach color g minor is a pink so on and so on but everything gets categorized into key right here if you toggle this little window option where it says key so now if i'm working on a beat which i am in the background here in fl studio this beat is f minor for example i'll go to mixed in key and i'll go to these audition them there's one that i like i can click and drag it straight out of here into fl studio which is wild right and then all i have to do in here is stretch it to my tempo just like that make sure i reset the pitch and now i have a sample that i auditioned real quick from mixed in key clicked it from mixed in key dragged it into fl studio that way it matches my beat and everything's labeled and it's super easy to just grab the samples that are in the key that you're working on as a producer that's why it's so dope to me So yeah, those are the two main reasons why I love using Mixed In Key as a producer and as an FL Studio user. It's that simple. It's that accurate. I don't trust any other key detection software out there. Mixed In Key has been my go-to for years. So with that being said, if you want to try out Mixed In Key 11, hit the link down in the description below. And as always, make sure to share this with a friend if you get me.